Okay, we're live at the Pace Studio with Charleston's own Atlas Road Crew, fresh off a Charleston affair at uh, a Charleston affair in New York, excuse me, right. at Brooklyn Bowl last night. Um, it sounded like a blast for everybody that was there, and uh, thank you guys for being here. Yeah, thanks for having, thanks for having us. Play some, play some tunes for y'all. Sounded great, thank you. Um, so we were talking earlier about the uh, last night's show, the Charleston Affair in New York. Um, can Brooklyn you tell Bowl, us a little yes. bit about the the band's origin? I know um, there seems like a really fertile and active thing that's happening in Charleston recently. Yeah, man, it's a it's kind of a really special thing we got going on down in Charleston. A lot of great bands, um, just coming out of nowhere really you know you get your bigger bands need to breathe band of horses and stuff but the smaller scene like last night was really special just to have three bands who are on the road all the time like 
grinding it out to all be here in New York City and have a show at a prominent venue up here is pretty it's pretty special and uh, yeah we've been lucky to be able to enjoy we enjoyed stoplight observations recently in Susto also so that yeah was, uh, these yeah, guys total, are all great total pleasure to have had all you guys yeah so it was really cool it was a neat experience uh, can you tell me a little bit about how the band came together <sighs> yeah well you know <laughs> some would say we were a fish cover band <laughs> yeah, we all met at uh, University of South Carolina in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I'm uh, Max and I are a little older than the rest of the guys, but we all met through other friends. Um, Patrick, hey, we met uh, <laughs> we met him through one of Max's other friends, Kevin Andrews. A little shout out there. Um, <laughs> But we just started jamming, man, and I got a storage unit off of Atlas Road in Columbia, so that was kind of where we got the think. Was it you, Max, that came up with the name, or was it Dave? Yeah, like walking on a stage. It was Max, 15 minutes Last minute, last minute, we came up, we had a show, first show ever, and went with Atlas Road Crew, kind of stuck, so we're still calling ourselves that. I mean, we used to just, like, literally grind it out in... It, it got up, it was not air conditioned or anything. So in Colombia, I mean, it gets up to like 110 degrees sometimes in the summer. And we were like literally practicing in a tin box for yeah. hours and hours and hours. And like the gate was broken. So like we didn't get much airflow in there. So it was kind of, I don't really know, it nice. made us, <laughs> it made us, I guess, good at kind of grinding out these longer sets and everything. Um, made but, us lose 15 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were the tannest, fittest band that <laughs> first summer. Band, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's important. You can't get on stage looking like a, just a, a bag of guts everywhere. Man. Yeah. It's embarrassing. you got to look good on stage in front of people. Yeah, but to finish the question, so we just started out as a college band. Didn't really have any aspirations of coming, you know, where we are now. Um, but it's been fun, and, you know, these guys, everybody, I think we're all different, and we have our own u unique, different styles, and we all mesh really well together. And it's been a fun experience so far. Yeah, I agree. I think it meshes great. That first song sounded fantastic. And you've got another one for us right now. Can you tell me a little bit about the second song? Yeah, this next one is uh, it's off the album Halfway to Hopkins, Black Eye Sunrise. Um, you know, the meaning behind this song is just kind of somebody who's kind of going through the motions, uh, you know, some of the lyrics, you know, just working overtime not really feeling like you're getting your full what you deserve back and just kind of being in that dark like you're hopeless your hands are tied you there's really nothing you can do but uh yeah so cool. we'll see. Yeah. love to hear it let's do it I don't mind 
along the way oh, I'll be okay oh, I'll be okay Hands tied upside down And left on Sounded great. Thanks, Mike D. <laughs> and Maddie. So those were, you just played two songs for us. Those were off of uh, Halfway to Hopkins. Yes. And then, so you've got a third one. We're moving forward through time. And the third, the third <laughs> one travel. is off of, so I understand, so the single's out, but this is not, um, can you tell us a little bit about what you're up to right now in the current uh, recording process? Yeah, so we're, um, it's been a while. Uh, since we've had some new music come out. Um, so we dropped this song back in February called My Own Way. Um, wrote that with one of our buddies out of Asheville, uh, Stephen Fiore. He's uh, with the band Young Mister. But um, we just felt like we needed to get something out sooner than waiting on you know a full album because that's quite the process. Uh, but we are working on new music and going to do some recording here in May and June. And uh, not official release date or anything yet, but hopefully coming soon. Cool. Yeah, I mean, awesome. we just we got to the point where we've just been touring um, halfway to Hopkins. We did a six week tour of Europe on it in 2016, and then it kind of it kind of got a life of its own, and we started touring heavily across the United States. And uh, you know, this year we were with the Revivalists and and Moon Taxi um, and everything. We're doing the Revivalist Festival with them in the fall, so. We started playing, you know, bigger and better venues and got more support slots, and then just the studio time window just kind of got smaller and smaller. So this is like a tail end. We did the Broken Bowl last night. We're in Columbia, South Carolina, you know, like a, a hometown show on Saturday, which will be awesome. Go uh, Cox. And then, yeah, go Gamecocks. And, uh, you know, a after that, we're, we're going to be in Charleston. We're working with one of our friends who's kind of part of the scene down there. Um, and got to start recording some more and uh, really working on the second album. But we're excited because we've had so many experiences as a band now, uh, being to Europe and being all over the U.S. And, and when we did Halfway to Hopkins, we were kind of just forming. And so that album was kind of about, you know, us moving out to this rural part of the, the country outside of Colombia. And then now, you know, we have all these experiences to write about. So we're excited. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's going to turn out uh, really cool. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to see what comes out of that uh, out of that effort. Um, so, could you play the the third tune? So, my own way, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. I would love to hear it. Thanks, man.
Great guys, thank you for coming by and playing playing a couple songs. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing what comes out of the recording effort, and uh, I'm gonna make a point to see you guys when you come back. Um, awesome. Looks like Margaret, uh, internet commenter Margaret from the internet says she saw you at the Capitol last month, and awesome. you guys rocked it. So clearly, you have uh, fans in the Northeast, and uh, we'll keep My our eyes peeled. <laughs> Marge, Grandma Marge. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us, man. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thanks. See you guys.